Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from areas related to circles, which had appeared in CBSE board exam 2025. Now this question has three sub questions. The first and the second sub question are for one mark and the third sub question is of two marks and this has an or question as well. That is either you can attempt the A question or the B one. So let us start with the first sub question now. Anurag purchased a farmhouse which is in the form of a semicircle of diameter 70 meters. He divided it into three parts by taking a point P on the semicircle in such a way that angle PAB is equal to 30 degrees as shown in the following figure where O is the center of semicircle. In part 1, he planted saplings of mango tree. In part 2, he grew tomatoes. And in part 3, he grew oranges. Based on given information, answer the following questions. The first sub-question is, what is the measure of angle POA? So let us try to understand this question. Anurag purchased a farmhouse, which is in the form of a semicircle, as we can see. And the center of the semicircle is point O. He then decided to divide this farmhouse into three parts. So he took a point P on the circumference of the semicircle. And he joined that point to point A and point B. So here three parts are being formed now. And in part 1 of the farmhouse, he decided to plant saplings of mango trees. In part 2, he decided to grow tomatoes. And in part 3, he decided to grow oranges. So now we can see that PAB forms a triangle. And the angle formed at point A is given as 30 degrees. Now in the first sub-question, we need to find out the angle POA. So let me draw an equivalent figure over here for easy reference. So this is the equivalent figure we have drawn over here where we have the semicircle and AB is the diameter with length 70 meters and angle A is given as 30 degrees. Now we have to find out the measure of angle POA. So we have joined the line OP. Now let us consider the triangle POA. Now in this triangle, the length of OA is equal to the length of OP because both are the radii of the same circle. So in short, the triangle POA is going to be an isosceles triangle now because two sides of this triangle are equal. So the angle A will be equal to angle P by the property of isosceles triangle. So here we have written, consider the triangle POA. So the length of OP is equal to the length of OA that is the radii of the same circle, then angle OAP will be equal to angle OPA because triangle POA is isosceles now. And here we have been given the measure of angle OAP as 30 degrees. So angle OPA also becomes equal to 30 degrees now. Now once we have got these two angles of this triangle, just by using the angle sum property of a triangle, we can write here angle POA plus angle OAP plus angle OPA is equal to 180 degrees. So here we get angle POA plus angle OAP is 30 plus angle OPA is also 30 is equal to 180 degrees. Now taking these two angles on the other side of equal to sign, we get angle POA is equal to 180 minus 30 minus 30. So this is going to give us 120 degrees. So the value of angle POA is 120 degrees. So this is our answer. Now let us move on to the second sub question. Find the length of wire needed to fence entire piece of land. Now remember that whenever they mention fencing or fence, they are talking about the perimeter of the given shape. So perimeter refers to the outline or the boundary of the given shape. So here we need to find out what is the perimeter of the land Anurag is going to fence. So now the perimeter consists of this circumference of the semicircle and this diameter because these two are the boundaries of the given land. So here we have again taken into reference the equivalent figure where AB is the diameter and APB represents the circumference of the semicircle. So the length of wire needed to fence the entire piece of land is equal to the perimeter of the fence. And the perimeter of the fence is made up of circumference of the semicircle plus the diameter. 
Now the formula for circumference of semicircle is pi times the radius plus we have taken the diameter here as d. Now let us take the value of pi as 22 over 7 times the radius is going to be half of the diameter. So the diameter is given as 70. So radius is going to be 70 over 2 plus the diameter is 70. Now let us simplify these fractions. Now 7 divides 70 that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 10 times is 70. Now 10 gets divided by 2 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 5 times is 10. So this simplifies as 22 times 5 plus 70. Now 22 times 5 gives us 110 plus 70 thus giving us the perimeter of the fence or length of wire needed to fence the perimeter of the land as 180 meters. So this is our answer. Now let us move on to the next sub question. Find the area of region in which saplings of mango tree are planted. Now in the question it was mentioned that Anurag planted saplings of mango tree in part 1 of this area. So we have to find out the area of this region. So here I have highlighted the region whose area we need to find. And to find this area we have to make use of area of sector. Now here I have joined OP. And in part 1 of this question, we had found out the angle POA and angle A and angle P from triangle POA. So I have marked it over here. And this is the diameter of the given semicircle. Now to find out the area of this shaded region, let us consider the sector OPBO. Now here, the sector OPBO is made up of two shapes. The first shape is area of triangle BPO and the second shape is the segment. PB. So here we have written area of sector OPBO is equal to area of triangle BPO plus area of segment PB. Now since we are trying to find out the area of the segment PB, let us take area of triangle on the other side of equal to sign giving us area of segment PB is equal to area of sector OPBO minus area of triangle BPO. So basically to find out the area of the segment, we have to find out the area of sector OPBO and area of triangle BOP and find their difference. So let us begin by finding the area of the sector OPBO. So the formula for area of sector is theta over 360 times pi times the radius square. Where theta is the central angle of the given sector. Now since we are focusing on the sector OPBO, this forms the central angle of the sector. So this is going to be equal to theta. Now to find the central angle theta, let us make use of the angle POA, which we had got in part 1 of this question. And since AOB forms a straight line, this is the diameter, and angle AOP is equal to 120 degrees, the central angle theta is going to be equal to the straight line angle that is 180 degrees minus 120 degrees. So this is going to give us 60 degrees and the radius is going to be half of the diameter. So this will be equal to 35 meters. So let us plug in the values of these two over here. So here we have written 60 over 360 times pi we have considered as 22 over 7 times the radius square can be written as 35 times 35. Now here 60 divides 360 that is 61 times is 60 and 66 times is 360 and 7 divides 35 that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 5 times is 35. So this gives us 1 over 6 times 22 times 5 times 35. Now let us further simplify this. We can divide 6 and 22 in the table of 2 that is 2 3 times is 6 and 2 11 times is 22. So this simplifies as 1 over 3 times 11 times 5 times 35. Now let us multiply all the numerator terms. So this is going to give us 1925 over 3 square meters. So this is the area of the sector OPBO. Now keep the fraction as it is because still we have to find out the area of the triangle BOP. Now let us try to find out the area of triangle BOP. To find out the area of the triangle BOP, we have to make use of a circle theorem. 
that is angle made in a semicircle by the diameter is always going to be equal to 90 degrees. Now here AB is the diameter which is making an angle on the circumference of the semicircle at point P. So this angle at point P is going to be 90 degrees. This is the circle theorem. Angle made by the diameter on any point on the semicircle is always going to be equal to 90 degrees. Now if we consider the triangle APB, angle A is 30 degrees, angle P is 90 degrees. So angle B is going to be 180 minus 90 and minus 30 degrees, giving us the angle at point B as 60 degrees. Now here, let us find out this small angle, that is angle OPB. Now this total angle is 90 degrees at point P, and this angle, that is APO, we had got it as 30 degrees. So angle OPB will be 90 minus 30, giving us this angle also as 60 degrees. So now if we consider the triangle OPB, this is going to be an equilateral triangle. Because the central angle we had got it as 60, we found out the angle B as 60 degrees and we got this small angle OPB also as 60 degrees. So we have to make use of area of an equilateral triangle over here. So here we have written area of equilateral triangle BOP is equal to square root of 3 over 4 times the side length square. Now the side length of this triangle is going to be equal to OB or OP which is equal to 35 meters that is radius of the circle. So here we have written square root of 3 over 4 times 35 square. Now 35 square gives us 1225 times root 3 over 4 square meters. So we have also found out the area of the triangle BOP. Now to find out the area of the segment, we are going to subtract the area of the triangle from area of the sector. So here we have written area of segment PB is equal to area of sector OPBO which we have got as 1925 over 3 minus area of triangle as 1225 root 3 over 4 square meters. So you can keep the answer as it is or if you wish to convert this as a decimal Take the square root of 3 value as 1.73, multiply it with 1225, get a common denominator and go for the long division. So this will give us the answer as 111.85 square meters. So keep the answer as it is and if you have time in the exam, then convert it into decimals. They both are acceptable answers. Now let us move on to the OR question. Find the length of wire needed to fence the region 3. So this is the region we are looking at, that is region 3. And we need to find out the length of the wire needed, which means the perimeter of region 3. So this is the region we are looking at. And this is made up of the arc length AP and the side AP from the triangle AOP. So here we have written, perimeter of fence of region 3 is made up of arc length AP plus side AP of triangle AOP. Now let us first find out the arc length AP and the formula to find out the arc length is theta over 360 times 2 pi r where theta is the central angle of the sector enclosing the arc and r is the radius of the sector. Now since we are looking at the arc length AP it belongs to the sector AOPA so this becomes the central angle of the sector. And we had already got this angle as 120 degrees. So here theta is going to be 120 and radius is 35 meters. So here we have written 120 over 360 times 2 times pi is 22 over 7 times the radius is 35. Here 120 divides 360 that is 121 times is 120 and 123 times is 360 and 7 divides 35 that is 7 1 times is 7 and 7 5 times is 35. So simplifying this we get 1 over 3 times 2 times 22 times 5. Now multiplying all the numerator terms we get 220 divided by 3 meters. So this is the length of the arc AP. Now once we have got this let us try to find out the length of side AP 
from triangle AOP that is this length and to find out this length let us consider the triangle APB. So here we have redrawn the figure for easy reference and since we are looking at the triangle APB we have highlighted this triangle where AB is 70 meters and angle A was given as 30 degrees. Now since we are trying to find out the length of AP we have two methods over here. The first method is using the Pythagoras theorem since this is a right angled triangle. Now here AB becomes the hypotenuse because this side is opposite to the 90 degree angle. So AB becomes the hypotenuse and the length of PB we had got it as 35 meters because the triangle OPB formed an equilateral triangle and if OB is 35 meters as the radius then PB also becomes 35. So hypotenuse square minus this side square you can find out this side. Now the second method is using the trigonometric ratio. I'll be going for the second method as it is easier than the Pythagoras theorem. It is dependent on you. Whichever method you are comfortable with, go with it. Now here, since APB is a right angled triangle and angle A is given to us, the side opposite to 30 degrees is going to be the opposite side. So here PB becomes the opposite side. The side which is opposite to the 90 degrees will be always the hypotenuse. So AB becomes the hypotenuse and the remaining side that is AP becomes the default adjacent side. And since we are trying to find out the adjacent side that is AP and hypotenuse is with us that is 70 meters, the trigonometric ratio we have to use here is cos. So cos of angle A is equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Now angle A is given to us as 30 degrees. So we have written cos of 30 is equal to adjacent side is AP over the hypotenuse is AB. Now cos 30 is a standard angle whose value is square root of 3 over 2 is equal to since we are trying to find out AP we have written it as it is over the length of hypotenuse is 70 meters. Now let us take 70 on the other side of equal to sign so that it multiplies with square root of 3. This gives us AP is equal to 70 times root 3 over 2. Now 2 divides 70 that is 2 1 times is 2 and 2 35 times is 70. So we get the value of AP as 35 root 3 meters. Now since we are trying to find out the perimeter of region 3 and we have found out the arc length and the length of AP. So here we have written perimeter of fence of region 3 is equal to arc length AP we had got it as 220 over 3 plus the side AP of triangle AOP as 35 root 3 meters. So this is going to be our answer. If you want to convert it into decimals, take square root of 3 as 1.73 and get a common denominator, add the numerators and go for long division. So that is going to give you 133.88 meters. So either you can keep this as your answer or convert it into decimals. Both are acceptable answers. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful, then check out this playlist where you'll find more examples of this kind. And if you're liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.